welcome to another video the walk on the wild side and i'm here in a rather wet blackpool it's easter monday and uh, let's take a look around it's a little bit soggy today yeah the weather has been all over the place this easter weekend you know what we've had some good weather and we've also had weather like this we've had quite a lot of rain rain showers and uh, yeah so it's a bit of a soggy ending here i'm on new south promenade as you can see just off us at the pleasure beach the big one's running again <laughs> which is good <laughs> because uh, i was watching some videos about the pleasure beach when it opened and uh, the, a lot of people were disappointed and a lot of the rides not working but hopefully everything's working today although it is a little bit wet and i don't know about you but i actually like going on rides in the rain do you like to go on rides roller coasters i think it makes it more exciting what do you think anyway what i thought i'd do in this video we're just going to take a quick look around this area see so it's like see how busy it is i think a lot of people probably will be on the way home now but uh, let's come and see what it's like shall we well it's looking pretty quiet here on the promenade but then again it usually is actually what's this yellow track oh coral island yeah that's a that's a new one that one coral island the yellow tram there yeah so it is looking pretty quiet on this part of the promenade but like i say this this uh, part of blackpool promenade usually is pretty quiet but i'll tell you what i want to do i want to show you the sea because the sea is like a mill pond let's go and check it out shall we just look how heavy this rain is wow anyway i'm just going to step over here no access uh, i think it'll be safe today because uh, it's not stormy today and the tide the tide is in but just look just look how calm the sea is wow look at this folks this is amazing look at that there like i said it's like a mill pond and this sea wall is very interesting look at this how we have these hexagons can you imagine if they had that further up no one would be able to sit in it would they so when they designed the sea wall further up they made it steps so that people could sit in it what's this here someone's left what well, someone's left some stuff it there's a bag there looks like someone's left the, the stuff there doesn't it anyway that was a little look at the sea just look how calm it is wow there's some people doing sea fishing here just down there yeah there's a lot of good sea fishing in blackpool i'm not really interested in that myself i used to go fishing in ponds and stuff like that but it's not really my sort of thing now but uh, be a good day for fishing you normally get people sea fishing up north shore and if you get a permit you can go on to the lower promenade with your car so and don't forget that the big one roller coaster is 30 years old this year yeah and i remember when it opened 30 years ago and it was the tallest roller coaster in the world and it held that title for two years and now 30 years on i'm not even sure if it's even in the top um, 50 and at the moment i think it's still the tallest in the uk but they're building one in fort park that's going to be a bit taller so uh, yeah it won't be the uk's tallest for much longer oh well, there's something a bit funny it's a regular tram on the loop here yeah no i've not seen one of those trams go on there before because that loop there is uh, usually for the uh, or exclusively should i say for the the heritage trams but uh, there you go uh, just in a regular tram on there Weird. so like i said this is where you get your heritage tram tours you can get the illuminated trams from here as well and look we've got one over here it's balloon 107 check it out 
There you go, you can't beat the old Blackpool trams, can you? Oh, I just love that sound. The thing about the old trams, the old heritage trams here in Blackpool, is you can actually hear them coming. You can't hear the new fancy ones coming. got another one balloon 700 you know I didn't see too many in fact I didn't see any heritage trams around when I was doing my videos with Lee but now they're out in force check it out well I think it's a good day today to be inside and uh, you can't get better than the sandcastle here the sandcastle water park look at this and this opened in 1986 and uh, don't think it did that well when it opened you know but uh, they've expanded it since and they put this water slide on here state-of-the-art water slide there you go the sandcastle it's about 80 odd degrees in there with a humidity of what 80 percent or something like that it's a bit uh, better than being out here anyway <laughs> Here's a quick look at the prices for the sandcastle if you're interested. You might be able to get them cheaper if you book online. And there's a map of the place there. And uh, don't forget that they've also got the casino on this side as well. Uh, Grosvenor Casino. And this used to be the Coronation Street experience as well, I remember that. I didn't go in. And it was also the Crystal Maze. But I don't think those really did all that well. But now that it's this casino, that's actually really, really fancy. And if you, if you want to go to a casino, that's, uh, that's a really, really nice casino in there, actually, yeah. Here's a quick look at the Weatherspoons Velvet Coaster. Formerly the Lucky Star Amusements, this. Nobody's sitting outside today, what a surprise. Playing music here, so we're going to have to keep talking, otherwise I'll get copyrighted. We've got ice cream, of course. Kelly's Coffee and Crepes, uh, South Pier, Mr Whippy Ice Cream over there. And don't forget, you can go over the road to Pablo's, Pablo's Fish and Chips and Ice Creams. Tw is it 27 different flavours? 22 flavours, I can see it there. On the side. 22 different flavours. I almost got splashed by a car then as well in this puddle. Just over there is the Lucky Star. That's where it moved to after being here. Oh, check it out, we've got another I've not seen that one out before, I don't think. Is that a brush car? Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think that one's a brush car. You might want to let me know in the comments. So well, there you go. I've not seen that. I don't think, well, I've not seen that one out for a while. Okay, so I'm down here on the sea wall, just by the South Pier. And uh, just a quick video for you today, just to bring you the last day of the weekend, the Easter weekend. And a bit, bit of a wet day, but it hasn't put a lot of people off. There's still loads of people here in Blackpool. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely banging on the South Pier. I can hear the music coming from the rides. When I was on the Central Pier with Lee the other day, the Mac Master, I was glad to get off it because that music on there, on them rides, I think I'm getting a bit too old, <laughs> too old for it. But I used to love going to the theme parks and on the rides, but yeah, I'm going to get a little bit too old for it. And it's not fair when you get shoved on a ride on your own as well. So naughty Mac Master for that. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one. I'll just leave you with one last look at this very, very tranquil Irish Sea.